Okay, boys and girls, here we go! We are at this massive Meshuga Marine, ready to board the Gross Hanacha sailboat that will take us on an over-the-top, through-the-seas, mountain-topping, country-crossing exploration of the most exhilarating extreme sports known to mankind. I-5-ish will be your tour guide as we follow some of my exceedingly cool and rather crazy friends all over the world. We'll be deep at sea as we watch them flip, flop, and fly through the greatest of Hashem's Niflo Sabore, and we will not try this at home. We are sailing out of the east coast of the United States on this five morning with destinations in all seven continents and many exotic locations. We are sailing towards the west coast, destination Lakeside, California, where the waters will look quite different than what you see right here. Lakesides River in San Diego County features Class 5 rapids, towering waves, pummeling holes, massive black boulders strewn everywhere. Here at the river, we will watch a competition between four expert riders, each using different gear to race to the end. We see one guy on a jet ski, the next on a kayak, one on a bodyboard, and lastly, the guy on a surfboard. I wonder who will make it to the finish line without falling. Let's sail up north towards Yosemite. Yosemite is internationally recognized for its granite cliffs, waterfalls, clear streams, giant sequoia groves, lakes, mountain, and glaciers. The most appropriate setting for a perfect paragliding trip. If you recall our trip last year to Ancona in Italy, we watched a man flying using a paraglide, but there was no engine. Somehow, the pressure of air entering vents in front of the wing and the aerodynamical forces of the air flowing over the outside can allow paragliders to fly for hours on end. That's why they have to set it up so perfectly so that the mechanism of airflow will be perfect and allow them to fly. Did you know, Kinderlach, that there are other devices similar to the paraglide that allow people to fly without an engine? Let's travel towards Arizona, where we will see some parachutes in action. These people are base jumping. BASE is the acronym for Building Antenna Towers, Span Bridges, and Earth Cliffs, the four categories of fixed objects those pros use as a jumping base. 
they have a parachute especially engineered for base jumping attached to them. These jumpers jump in deserted areas as well as urban ones. They must be very quick to operate the parachute as they have much less time than jumpers who leap out of an airplane at 15,000 feet since they start off much closer to the ground. And we're off to another continent, destination Europe. We'll begin in France, where they host an annual National BMX Championship, with about 30,000 people joining the event. We will watch some practice runs in preparation for this big day. We're getting closer to our destination. Using my Fushnovsky binoculars, I'm on a lookout for my friend on his... Ah, oh, there he is, practicing his tricks. See that guy on a bike? Well, that is no ordinary guy, and that is no ordinary bike. Biking is a sport we all do. Some of us just do it better than others. This guy can flip and spin on his bike. Let's watch him practice in the thick of the woods. It looks like he has finished his run. Let's follow him and we'll see some more tricks as we watch him perform on the streets of France. That was some bike ride. I'm kind of dizzy just from watching him, but he is still going strong. Well, we're off. Here we are on our way, destination Switzerland. Known for its beautiful high mountain peaks, Switzerland is a great place for a snowmobile watching. Here we are. Let's follow my friends down the slopes.
It's getting chilly here, even though we moved indoors. Let's get back in our boat and sail away to a warmer climate. After we warm up, we will return for some more icy action. We are sailing towards India. Hey, look to our right, there is a guy kite surfing. He will keep us entertained as we sail along. This desert-like town has never held a modern car race before, but it's the perfect setting for a real challenge ride. We will watch Neil, who is a world champion rider, attempt to break a world record of the F1 car drive. I will make a bit of a detour so we can make it to the grand show of the new Hot Wheels stunt team, the Double Loop Dare. Many of you Kinderloch like to play with Hot Wheel cars, but those are the miniature imitation of real cars that flip and spin in real life. It takes a team of skilled engineers many months to build safe hoops and tracks for the cars to perform their stunts on without endangering them. Okay, we're on our way to... Hey! What's that noise I'm hearing? It sounds like a fleet of planes right on top of my head. Look up! Wait, is that plane crashing down? Ah, this must be an air show. Let me see if I can recognize them. Yes, as I thought, these are military aircrafts showing off their skills. The S7 fighter jet can make looping flips. Watch the YAK jets as they fly in perfect formation. They call that a dance in the sky. The MX-2 can perform real aerobatics, flying both horizontally and vertically. The EH jets were dubbed the Flying Lions. In a moment, you'll see why.
We will let them continue their flight as we sail off a short distance. Destination, Australia! Where we will watch an exciting competition of skateboarding. Here we go! They were quite the experts, but I want to show you a few of my friends who are not the ordinary skilled skateboarders. They can skateboard on nearly any surface, even on ice and frozen sand, as we will find in Antarctica. Let's watch them in action. This is all frozen surfaces. When I last tried to walk outside when it was icy, I tripped and fell every step I tried to take. Now I know I'm not that sturdy on my feet, but these guys are amazing. Hey, I see something in the distance. Wow, this guy is moving so fast, he is skiing mostly on ice. I'm afraid soon we'll get ice and snow all over us. Let's turn around. We have our next destination waiting up ahead. Brazil, South America. This next sport is going to look something like a hoverboard, except way cooler. Flyboarding is made by attaching a hose to the back of a jet ski where the water is coming out in high pressure from the jet ski engine. 
The hose is then attached to a hoverboard sort of thing, and it causes the hoverboard to go flying up in the air because of all the water pressure. One of the coolest extreme sports ever. Let's wave goodbye to our friends as we head towards our last destination, our greatest destination yet. Back home. All sports shown in this video are dangerous and not recommended by Five Ish Please don't try this at home. <laughs>